Hey guys, um, just doing a very quick video uh, about something which has literally saved my life and my Black Ops 2 life. Uh, since I had the game I've been having real bad connection problems because I get my internet from my phone which normally sits on that docking stand there. Um, I'm on 3 mobile and I get unlimited internet and I use my phone basically, I tether the connection to my Xbox. And Modern Warfare 3 it wasn't a problem, mainly due to the lag compensation, it was helping me out because I always used to have a strict NAT, which caused me all sorts of problems, even though my phone can get up to 15 meg download speeds, it's the most I've ever seen. So, uh, recently I've been slightly less than that, and that's been causing me problems because of the closed NAT type. So, this is how you change it basically okay. tethering your connection off of your phone um, we're going to the PC screen basically so you need to make sure obviously your portable hotspot is turned on as you can see if this is going to focus I am currently connected to Android AP right there so you need to open your network and sharing center um, Go into manage wireless. No, 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 you don't. Change adapter settings. And here you will have your local area if you've got your Ethernet cable plugged in, which mine is to the back of my PC and then into the Xbox. And you have your wireless internet connection to, or whatever you call it. You want to right click on this and then you want to go to properties. Go on to your sharing tab. Make sure both of these boxes are connected and go into settings. Now these are the important ones here. You need to make sure that you've got 3074 UDP. Make sure that port is checked. All the other standard Xbox ones leave unchecked and when you test your connection on the Xbox for the first time it will select which other ones it wants. So this 312881, the Xbox did that and not me. What you do need to do is to create two ports yourself first one being a 53 UDP second one being 88 UDP this has to be your PC's name or your IP address you can find that by going to uh, start menu control panel system security and then into this rampage where you view all your computer specs and things like that. Um, mine is unknown, I don't know why that is. I probably didn't type in my name when it asked me to when I bought the PC. So, yeah, you need to make sure you've got 3074 UDP standard checked and then create two ports yourself, both UDP 53 and 88. And as I say, the first time you test your connection on the Xbox, it will automatically select which port it wants open at the time. These could possibly vary depending on a couple of factors, so just let the Xbox deal with that. So, come out of all of this. As you can see, I'm still connected, and I will do a very quick speed test just to see what I'm currently getting on my phone. Begin test. So this is my phone's internet powering the PC and the Xbox. So 83 ping, not the worst in the world. Current download speed 6, 7 meg. Not too bad. Dropping off a little bit now. not too bad bearing in mind it's also powering my tablet which has got Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that constantly refreshing so for a mobile phone that's not too bad so onto the Xbox as you can see NAT type is open I just played two games and I was running on a five bar connection I do play now with my connection type is best because it works pretty well I mean the last couple of days it's been horrendous 
been shooting people and they're not dying. Now I shoot people and they go down, as they should do. Let me just quickly show you what I'm doing, just so you can see. Right, that's not too bright. There we go. Go to network settings. Just to show you that it is all tethered to the... Um, there you go, wired network. Connected, connected, connected. Normally, if you've got a strip NAT, you'll get a little exclamation mark up here in the middle there, which tells you you can connect to Xbox Live, but some factors may influence your speed or something crap like that. Thankfully, I haven't got to look at that anymore. Open that type while tethering off of my phone. Uh, if you are wondering, I'm using a Galaxy Sam a Samsung Galaxy S3, so it's got pretty damn good internet on it anyway. But um, any Android with tethering facility will work. Bear in mind, if you don't have unlimited internet, just watch the amount of online gaming you play because if you play a lot, it's going to eat up all your data allowance. So yeah, it saved my skin and it's going to make me enjoy the game a hell of a lot more. So I hope it's helped you out. If it has helped you out, just give me a like just to let me know how many of you it's actually benefited. And um, yeah, if I get any other nifty little tips and tricks or anything like that, and I will put them on here for you. Thank you for listening.